Okay, so today we're going to do a rig rundown for James Cross, who's currently the bass player of Fonzie Avi. Uh, you're going to tell us a little bit about your rig, aren't you? Yeah, hi guys. Um, the rig I'm using now is uh, made by Ashdown. We've got the Ashdown Rootmaster 800 series head, which is an 800 watt digital head. We're using the Rootmaster 2x10 cabinet and the Rootmaster 1x15 cabinet there. Yeah. In the rack here, I've got a Korg tuner and a Samsung power distro. And round the back, which you can't see, I've got my uh, in ear system tucked around there. So, yeah. uh, I'm using Enfield Line Heart Bass guitars made by Martin Sims with the Sims Super Quad switchable pickups, which are lovely, which you've seen in my previous videos. Over on the floor unit down here, yeah. we've got a TC. Super or Spectrocom compression pedal. Compressor, yeah. Yeah, we've got the Line 6 Relay G50 wireless system. We've got the Ashdown EQ pedal with pre shake. We've got the Zoom B3 multi effects. And then we've got a. Uh, a looper, that. Isn't it? It's a, a looper, so if anything goes wrong with the pedal board, I can then cut that all out and just go straight to the oh, rig. AB rig, yeah. AB me rig. And then on the microphone, we're just using uh, an Audex OM5 for the vocals. Right. Um, so that's basically my rig for Bon Jovi. Very basic, very simple, nice and easy to set up. Uh, and yeah, it just sounds fantastic. Cashdown, uh, Martin Sims making the Enfield, and uh, the bass is actually fitted by Broto Sound. So most of the stuff there is made in Britain, which is fantastic. So how about strings, wide? What are you using? Uh, yeah, just wrote a sound uh, strings. They've been supplying me with strings for nearly 16 years now. And what's that Velcro thing on the headphones? Ah, uh, the Velcro thing is made by Groove Gear, and that allows me to move it down the neck if I'm doing any tapping work or anything like that, just to mute the strings slightly so I don't get the, uh, the strings buzzing. Right. So that's that's my rig. While we're here. I will show you around the stage a little bit. We're at Yardbird in Grimsby tonight. Yeah. Uh, this is where our drummer sits. It's got a small kit tonight. Normally it's got a much bigger kit. Is that the Pearl Masters? It's a Pearl Masters drum kit. Normally it has double kick drum, more toms, more cymbals. Yeah. But with it being a smaller stage, we kind of cut that down a bit. Yeah. Over here is uh, the guitar world. Um, yeah. DNA Guitarist uses Sovereign guitars. Yeah with Marshall uh, JVM 400H, I believe that is. Is that uh, an endorsement with WD-40 that he's got? He's got an endorsement with WD-40. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he sprays it on everything, yeah. including his uh, his nether regions, <laughs> which is quite funny. Yeah. Um, Marshall cabs, TC Electronics again, Furman power conditioner, it's fantastic. His, his pedal board. Um, oh, that's big has to be a lot bigger than mine because he needs to make up for oh see you know, he's lacking in some he's, sort of... he's, he's lacking in some areas I right, don't know okay. where, but so this got, makes him feel more manly. it makes him feel inferior <laughs> uh he's got a behringer floorboard which is a midi uh switcher uh, he's got some really weird green vintage overdrive pedal there oh yeah uh, again he's got a, a similar sort of thing as well. i've got a looper there looper, yeah uh, TC electronics tuner. And what's that funny thing? That's, and this that funny like? thing with a tube coming out of it. Yeah. And come up to me is a tour box. Right. Now. Now why is there a bag on it? He's got a bag on here because he's scared to jump. So if oh. he saw me doing this now, he would kill me. I'm not going to put him on mouth. But this tube goes into his mouth. To his mouth. And the guitar sound comes up the tube into here, and you get that tour box sound for living on a prayer, and it's my life. Um, but he likes to keep it covered up. So he's a bit of a germaphobe. So he doesn't get the germs. Of course. And then he's got his vocal mic here. How is he with handshaking then if he doesn't like? He loves handshaking. Oh. If you're in a band that support us, shake Dean's hand <laughs> as many times as possible. <laughs> um, this is our lead singer's acoustic guitar. Is it, yeah. Nothing really special coming on here because is uh, it needs things to be really basic. I suppose if it's quite basic, the, the main thing to ask is does it stay in tune? I'll get back to you on that one. Right. Um, so back over here, past my rig again. Yeah. Um, now here, we come into a very special area. 
this is where a, a keyboard player hangs out. I have to just stop you for a second. This area looks pretty safe. It is known as the keyboard safe zone. The safe zone. A, a keyboard player likes to feel cocooned. Cocooned, yeah. In volume. I, I'd be honest, if I was stood where you're stood, I'd feel pretty safe. Yeah, I, I mean, when he does feel a bit unsafe, yeah. all okay. we need to do is add more volume. Just turn up the volume. And he's, he's happy as Larry. Oh, okay. But I as get you. you can see, yeah. he's, he's quite taller than me. He's a lanky, so yeah. He's 95% legs. And so, what, what do these funny keys do? Well, they make weird noises <laughs> like that. Right. It's fantastic. I could, I could never do it because I can only work two fingers at a time. So, so. I guess what. What you're saying is the guitar player and yeah. the bass player, we're actually playing our instruments. Yeah. And this kind of this device in front of us right now simply triggers back sounds that other people have played, I guess. That's exactly it. And you know, we're on the front line at the front of the stage. There's no safety for us, is there? Pulling moves, there's no safety for us. We we get we get you know, spit on the, us the front the of what the crowd wanna give us. Yeah. Whereas back here you Back just here, it's all, it's all safe, cocoon. It's lovely. Whereas round here, you know, we uh, obviously I've got my my one and only fan here. Obviously, yeah, yeah. That just keeps you cool. Which keeps me cool. But the main purpose, all joking aside, of this video is just yeah. to say, you know, Enfield bases have been fantastic. Martin Sims is a lovely bloke. Check him out at Sims on Guitars. Yeah. Ashdown have looked after me for many years. You can check them out at AshdownMusic.com. All their information there. Rotor Sound Strings. Check out rotorsoundstrings.com. And your pedal board. My pedal board is just you know nice and simple. Nice and simple just stuff. Super clean. Super clean. Easy to pack down. Sounds fantastic. So that's my set with uh, Bon Giovi, and you can check them out at www.bongiovi.co.uk. Awesome. And I'll see you on the next video soon. Thanks very much. Bye for now.